Today I'm interviewing Paula Bradley with Picasso Playmates. So thank you for joining us today. Well, thanks for coming. How long have you been here in Santa Clarita? Well, Picasso's Playmates has been here for over 25 years. I personally have been here since 2001, so that makes it 17 years. That's so great. It's great when we have um, people who live here, work here, and love everything about Santa Clarita. Um, of course, you have an art studio here in Newhall, yep. and tell us a little bit about what you do here at the studio. Well, we're kind of a full service art studio. So we start our day in the morning with mommy and me classes, oh, which fun. is open-ended art classes, all experiential, ages two to five. There's no right or wrong way to do anything. So it's make a mess, have a good time, I clean it up, it's not on your carpet, and the kids really love it here. They know that when they come here, they're my littles, and they come in, and we play, and we make a big mess, and they don't get in trouble for making a big mess, and then um, we get to look at the choo-choo train and wash our hands in a bucket of soapy water, so oh. it's <laughs> totally fun. Then um, in the afternoon, we teach drawing and painting to school-age kids. So we teach them the basics of fine art. We teach them how to draw, how to hold the pencil, how to use the color, how to use their imagination. We open up and often I have to get them kind of loose by saying, okay, did you bring your imagination in your pocket? Can you take it out? Let's put it on. What do we, and we teach technical drawing. So it's a directed art class. But then once they get their drawing right, then we say, okay, now where is this if they're drawing a cat? Where is this cat? Is it in outer space? Is he on a surfboard? Where is this cat? And they get to use their imagination and create that scenery. So that basically starts off pretty easy and then goes all the way through drawing what you see into realism. And they te we teach all media and they start at five and they go all the way to college. So some people are from here, from their two, from when they're two, to college. <laughs> they, <laughs> which is so Which great. is really awesome. And they go to some really good colleges too. So then in the evenings we have our teen and adult program. So the teens and the adults go together because adults will pay for their kids to come before they'll pay for themselves to come. Yeah. But then once, once the kids are all grown and they're retired, then they're like, oh, well I kind of really want to do this, but I don't know how. And so I kind of take them step by step, same way I would the kids, but older, and um, teach them too. So we do all ages and all in all media. So we start with pastels, we do pastels, watercolors, markers, colored pencil, oil pastels, oil painting, charcoal, everything. We everything. do it all. All of it. Yeah. Well, and I have to say from experience, so obviously you have that child that at heart uh, moments and as I came in today all of the littles they all went running out and blowing kisses and giving big hugs which is fabulous and my daughter Kaylee has come to you since she was about five or six. Six, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Six years old. And um, She still hugs me when she leaves every night. She does. <laughs> and, and you know, it's something that uh, the kids have, they look forward to it. She looks forward to it. And you know, at six years old, you don't really know what direction they're gonna go with anything. And you've done such a wonderful job of bringing out their talent and their passion and what they end up finding a direction in which has been um, just wonderful it's been wonderful as a parent to witness because I know that you don't and you don't touch their artwork and so there yeah, could they, be meltdown moments mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and we have them and they lay on the floor we both and sometimes we're all laying on the floor going oh man this is terrible <laughs> but it's you know it's a place where they can be themselves mm -hmm. They have, it's a, this place is a safe place for kids, especially, and, and for teenagers and tweens. Absolutely. Um, they come in, they know that A, they're loved. First off, I'm, a con I'm concerned with their whole being. I wanna make sure that when they come into my classroom, they're well fed, they're, they're feeling okay, they had an okay day, and if they didn't, let's talk about it, let's get it out, let's, or if you can't, do something that's gonna make you happy. Right. Okay, we are going to do something that works through that unhappiness and brings you back into a sense of calm so that you can either create or be okay with the world. Yeah. And in that, you know, it's, and we have a lot of fun doing it. We will lay on the floor. We sometimes have days that we just draw whatever. Right. And, and, and that's okay. You know, it's not all about product. It's often about, pro it's, 
really about process and how they learn how to do it and make choices. You know, I started little. Okay, now this is an art choice. Okay, you can change this and this is what it will look like or you can leave it the same and this is what it's going to look like. Now you have to make a choice. And so that starts them young learning how to think things through and what's the end point? What do I want to bring to this? And it's through art, so it's fun. It is fun. It's and, fun. And you know, the kids, even from young until they get older, there are a lot of stresses. Mm -hmm. There's stresses just <clears throat> being, being. So right. for them to be right. able to come to a safe place and they can simply be, and it's just such a, such a stress release. The last thing I want to touch on is your summer camps because we are coming upon summer. Upon summer, yeah! And so the excited. summer camps are... <laughs> Just the best, the, they're the best part ever. I look forward to the they're Friday field trip. So, so <laughs> much fun. We start planning summer camp in February. Yeah, and you have three of them. We have three of them. We have fantasy, which is the first one. Always the first one is fantasy, where we do an hour and a half of fine art, four days in a row. That's a lot of drawing. That's a lot of things that they're processing. But their subject matter is fantasy, which means they have to take something that's either real or not real and try to put it with how do you see it how do you picture it how do you and so we teach all of that from a foundational point of view so they're using real shapes and things to come up with their things and sometimes it's harry potter and sometimes it's a fairy and sometimes it's a unicorn a lot of times it's a dragon i don't know why that is <laughs> um so we do that and then we do an hour of fun art so then we're doing we're making dragons out of Dixie cups, or we're making, you know. You made the Harry Potter Harry, books. Harry Potter, the yeah, the monster books, books right. Yes. So that was, but that was in the Harry Potter camp. Yeah. yeah. So then we have sculpture camp. Oh yeah, and then the field trip, right? The field right. trip, oh my gosh. So we get to go to the museum, or we get to go to the Descanso Gardens, and then they're taking what they learned in class out into the world and drawing. Yeah. And my funnest part, the best part is taking them to a museum and watching the docents freak out when I've got 15 yeah. kids <laughs> and I've got a cowboy hat on or something ridiculous and they're like, oh no. And then 15 children come in and become artists. They do. And it's and adults, amazing. Little adults. And they're sitting on the floor and they're drawing from the paintings and they're really doing it. And the docents are like, wow. Yeah. And I've asked many times, have you ever seen this? And they're like, no, and there they are being real art students from a real art school, so they're having that experience. Yeah. And then the sculpture camp, we design our sculptures. So we take our fine art time, and we're designing the sculptures that we're going to make, and we do wire armatures, and we do clay, and we do all these different things, and we do some wonky stuff too, which is totally fun. <laughs> and then we went to the beach, and we did sand sculptures, big sand sculptures. Oh, how fun. Totally fun. Honestly, okay, it got half done because we were too busy having fun at the beach. <laughs> Honestly. But again, they had to plan out what they were doing and vote on it and which one is, they had to be a team and work. Yeah. So we had to do all those things and make sure we were still having fun, still going in the water and still not getting sunburned. Right. One of us did. Um, and then we have Harry Potter camp. That's our anchor. Our anchor is Harry Potter camp. Have to have it. They're, I'm never running out of Harry Potter ideas. I bet you're not. Yes. Never. Yeah. Never. And Harry Potter is very popular. And it gets better every year. Yeah. Every year. And then we, again, go to the museum, but it's just And they're great. Fun. So they're week-long camps. Week-long camps. Okay. And if anyone wants to get in touch with you, what's the best way? Um, the best way is either um, through the website, picassosplaymates.com, okay. or you can call me at the studio. Call me. Calling me at the studio is always fine, because if I'm not here, you can leave a message. If you call the Acton Studios number, it goes patches straight through. I, okay. I, I'm well, and that's good for everyone to know. You have a studio in Acton as well, mm -hmm. so it's it's a lot of all of the same classes. And, yep. And up in the Acton area, so that that makes it good for the Acton, the Acton, and Acton the area and the area. north and the and the North Canyon Country area. Yeah, yeah, it makes it makes it so. a little bit easier on drive time. Perfect. Well, we're going to have your information at the end of this video, and thank you for your time. Thanks and, for coming. Um, you know, I'm so excited to get your business out in our community. Me too. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great day.